Hey, man. How's it going? Good, thank you. How about you? I'm good. Good. How yeah. uh, how'd you feel the fight went? I I felt good. Um, you know, it's it's always good getting your hand raised. So uh, he was a tough dude. I give him that. Uh, you know, I tried I tried keeping it on him all three rounds, and um, you know he came out hard. Uh, you know, I was, I'm happy. I'm happy. He, he did manage to stay in there, but it did seem in the second round, especially, especially he was starting to get tired. Did yeah. you feel that when you were on top of it? I did, yeah. Um, you know, he came out pretty hard in the first. Uh, you know, and like I said, I just, I just want to keep it on him, keep it in his face, uh, stay active, um, stay composed. Um, yeah, I, I felt like I did that, so I'm, I'm happy. When you're fighting a guy and you can feel him start to fade a little bit, does that just put you in a headspace where you're like, well, I've got this now, you know? Sort of, you know, I I wanted to keep turning it up, but he, he did a good job himself staying in a position to where he had to kind of keep me aware, you know. He kept laying in a good, you know, hit me on the left, and so I had to be, that, that one surprised me a little bit. Uh, so, you know, I, I felt like I pushed and stayed in on him in a, a comfortable zone to where, uh, I was dangerous, but in staying active, but being smart as well. So, what's next for you? When would you like to get back in there? Uh, you know, uh, late June, or early, or yeah, June or July. Uh, I like to stay active. So, cool. any names in mind, or? You no, know, I I don't really care who I fight. Uh, that's not my job. My job is to come here. Whoever's out there is who I'm fighting. Uh, my manager, my coaches, Sean Shelby, the OC, that's, that's their job to put the match up together. So, uh, you know, I know some people think it's important to call people out, have an idea, all that. Ah, that's, I don't know, I've never really cared who I fight, so. <laughs> Fair enough. Congratulations, man. Yep, thank you. I know the commentary made a point to talk about his debut out there, and this was a debut. Being uh, someone like yourself, you're not big difference in age, but in terms of UFC experience, yeah. you had quite a bit more fights than yeah. he does. How much of that do you think played into his energy level and what was going on out there in the fight? You know, he he looked very fired up. Um, he didn't look too nervous to me. You know, he was out there looking like he was ready to go, ha about to have fun when when I was watching him walk out and everything. I knew he was coming ready to fight. Uh, so, you know, I was ready to go out there and fight as well. Um, and I felt like we put on a pretty good show. Um, yeah. Could you tell going into the second round that maybe he did have some sort of an energy dump that maybe yeah. just for the fact of just the nerves and maybe all the energy that he had to burn through? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, could, I definitely felt the shift. Late first round even, I felt, I, I knew I had it. Um, but, you know, you can't get ahead of yourself. You gotta stay composed, stay grounded. Um, be smart, and I felt that's what I did, so. And it was definitely, you know, came off as a pretty dominant performance by your part, but are there any things, I know you haven't had a chance to probably go back and watch the fight, but are there things in your mind that you're already kind of like, all right, when I go back to the gym, this is what I really want to focus on? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, like you said, I, I have to go watch it. Right now, I have not too much idea of what was going on in there. Um, some things I was feeling, I want to be a little more active. I want to. I need to start stringing together a little more combos. Um, that's that's something I, I'm gonna focus on uh, going forward. But you know, once once I rewatch it, I feel like I'm always my harshest critic. So we'll see when when I watch the film. And you talked about staying active within the fight, but you didn't want to call it any people. But what's the perfect number of fights for you? In a, in a year's time that you get enough rest, enough time to train, and then get in there and perform? I have no issue fighting, you know, four times a year. Uh, I know I got my first one a little late in the year. Uh, I want at least three, you know what I mean? Um, I'm getting married next year, so if I could get as many in before that, I would I'd love to do so. So, you know, when, I, when the wedding comes, I'll be able to kind of relax a little bit. So as many as I can get till then. Is she is she roping you into doing a lot of the the planning for it as well, or no. are you letting her kind of handle that? No, she she got that. Uh, you know, I, I was like, do I need to do anything? She's like, no, you got it. So uh, she she's doing all that, and uh, I don't I don't mind. <laughs> I just said, just let me know when you need something. How do you celebrate the win? Uh, you know, my fiance is actually here in Vegas. She came this time, uh, so I'm sure we'll have a fun weekend. We're staying till Monday, so yeah. I just, have a good time, relax, you know, 
enjoy the weekend. Nice. Congrats on winning. Thank enjoy, you. Enjoy Vegas. Thank you.